depending on the character's roles, some liberties to keep the plot moving are unrealistic. What I'm focused on is learned behavior, something you see over time. And that is why I like series, because it starts to develop a character into a person and it constrains the writer into how the character can react. If you violate the spirit of the character, then you soon will find interest in the books will disappear. While the thoughts are inspired by the book, it does not imply the writer intended to inspire the thoughts I have. In this book, Neil Sparakos is often mean to Scott. Not because he was partnered with Tom, but because he was in the closet. He was angry that Scott could be a role model, yet instead, to enjoy his career, he hides. It's odd. Often gays will be harder on those that have not yet come out than those who would hurt you. Just because you came out, you can't assume all of us are the same. Maybe it is a character issue, but just because a person is in the closet, it might be it's because he doesn't want to be known for who he sleeps with. To come out does not mean you have to wear your sexuality around everywhere. Maybe for Scott it is the money, but if you know him as Don does, maybe you'd realize it's not exactly that Scott is in the closet, but that he hasn't decided what the balance is. The act does not last 24-7. Only real shallow people see a person's sexuality as all that is of value in a person. While the thoughts are inspired by the book, it does not imply the writer intended to inspire the thoughts I have. The attempt is to start a discussion and get people to think about human behavior from the perspective of the closet. How this might lead to problems that make friends or partners or even business relationships difficult. I can understand why some would dismiss this effort. I find reminders in how the characters behave with memories of my own experiences and then explore that aspect. It's meant to start people to think. It is not meant to imply I am right. If you do not share the ideals with others, then how will you know if you're right? When talking, the focus should be on challenging and exposing your ideals, not in changing other opinions. That would only lead to frustration since the only person you can change is yourself.